Hello there, Stone Park Tigers. I hope you all are doing well. What a time this is. Well, I've been doing a lot of home cooking and I see this as an opportunity for you to practice some of the skills that you've learned in the Foods Lab with me over the past year. And for those students who haven't been with me yet, we will be, but you can try out some of the recipes I'm about to show you here in this video. I see this as a great opportunity for us to continue our skill work at Stone Park in the Foods Lab. I am going to attach some video links below in the description which are going to show you some steps and some things that you can do to create a couple of recipes over the next two weeks. Also down in the description is going to be a link to the actual recipes that we use in class. You can open those up using your Google account. They'll be on a Google Doc. First, I would like you to revisit making one of our basic recipes, but a really good recipe to practice your skills making some homemade biscuits. Again, you'll see down in the description some links to some videos of people making biscuits in different ways, using different bowls, maybe even different recipes, but I want you to use the recipe that we use in class, which is in the description as well. When you complete the recipe, you may find that you don't have things at home like they do in the videos. Remember that you can always kind of change things up a little bit. For instance, if you haven't got a whisk at home, try whisking up with just a fork. If you haven't got a biscuit cutter at home, try just using a glass and you could cut out your biscuits that way. If you have no pastry blender to break up your butter or margarine into fine little flakes like we do at school using our pastry blender, you can rub that cold butter or margarine along a cheese grater. That'll flake it up into your dry ingredients really well. So what I want you to do is try these recipes with what you have at home. You may not have everything, but I bet you are come close to being able to complete the recipe anyway. Once you've practiced and made the biscuits a couple of times for you and your family, I'd like you then to go on and try the cinnamon roll recipe. The cinnamon roll recipe is exactly the same dough recipe as the biscuits. So you'll be able to move on from that really easily. You're just going to be adding some sugar to it. Look at the videos again below that show approximately how to make the cinnamon rolls and look for the recipe to our cinnamon rolls down below, down below as well. Again, open them up in your cloud account. They are a Google Doc. Now finally, what I'd like you to do, I'm hoping you'll do, is send me an email with pictures showing your finished product. I'd like you to send those to me using your cloud account. Send them to me at my Gmail account as well. So send them to Mr. Stratton. I'd like to see them and hopefully I can post some of those pictures as well. Take your time with these recipes. Do it with your parents' supervision and guidance. Put some things together that taste really good. You've got lots of time, so let's take some time to make some good food. Anyway, I miss you all. I know we'll get together in the Foods Lab again very soon. But, till my next video, which should be in another week or so, bye-bye, see you later, and good cooking.